right, yeah, let's let's get to it. Welcome to Back Talk with Bauer. I am Josh of J. Bauer Art, your host, the guy that does all the talking and the randomness on here. And we are doing a special edition of Back Talk with Bauer for HarleyCon 2020. I hope you guys have been digging all the stuff that's been going on before us and uh, everything that's been happening as far. Uh, it started at 11 a.m. We are going till midnight. So you can catch me right now doing Back Talk with Bauer at 3 p.m. And then over at uh, 8 p.m., same uh, same Facebook account, facebook.com backslash jbauerart. You can catch Back Talk with Friends, the podcast super show where we kick off the debauchery of the night, the adult content. And I don't have to have a filter any on anymore. So that will be fun. Not that I have one on here much anyways, but I try to keep it slightly professional here. Uh, welcome Terry MacGyver all the way from Ireland, Gene, Kyle Nunez, GW Palmacher. Uh, thank you guys for popping in. I greatly appreciate it. So yeah, let's get to it. Back talk with Bauer. As always, we have a sponsor, my youngest brother, Corey, who is a uh, extremely supportive of what I do, uh, decided to sponsor my show. He doesn't have anything to plug. He doesn't do anything. He Well, he works and all that, but he doesn't have his own special thing to plug. So we decided to do a charity aspect to his uh, sponsorship. This month, we're doing a different one every month. This month, month of August, we're doing Gamers Outreach. Gamersoutreach.org, founded in 2007. Charity provided uh, that provides equipment to, and technology and software to kids to help cope with treatment in hospitals. I mean, how much, how better can you get than that? Uh, they started, it was started by a bunch of high schoolers with the passion for video games, of course, and they realized that games can help with long-term visits and treatment. Uh, it focuses on support for the kids and teens throughout the healing process as they undergo treatment and it minimizes trauma, uh, relief. Uh, I, I still got to rewrite this. Uh, they, it also helps with, um, a sense of normalcy and socialization so far, every year they have, that since they've started, they've been helping out 1,250,000 kids a year. Uh, please make sure to check out the Gamer Gamers for Giving. That's like a really cool event that they put on earlier in the year. So hopefully they'll be able to put that on next year. I don't know if it got canceled or not. And there's a variety of different ways you can help. You can just donate. You can donate. You can create a fundraiser, which I'm thinking about doing because I think that would be really neat because um, I need more stuff to do. Um, you can also donate old games or you can volunteer. So please head over to gamersoutreach.org. Uh, check it all out. Check out everything they've got, some more information. There's a giant donate button, so please go check that out. Other than that, uh, you can catch – this is Back Talk with Bauer. You can catch it on the HWWS Web, Web TV YouTube channel. Um, I'm sure somebody will drop a link down below. But if you miss any of this and want to catch it out something later, you can uh, head over to there. Hello, Joe. How are you? Thank you for popping in. Um, and I know there's... Oh, and then if you don't want to see my beautiful face and just want to listen to my sexy, sexy voice, you can head over to uh, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. <sighs> Got to take a breather in between some of these. So without further ado, uh, for a special uh, Harley Con. 2020 edition i had to bring on a special guest a uh, person that i am meeting first time just through this show and through online uh but let's bring her on up she's a very talented cosplayer known as Cree and also known as brown sugar outlaw hi how are you hi i'm good hey everybody <laughs> thank you so much for having me on the show thank you thank you thank you thank you for coming on i appreciate you taking time out on your saturday i, I know there's not much else to do for most people but it's still a saturday where you could just be sitting around and doing nothing so thank you so much for taking an hour of your time to hang out with me of course i mean i did just buy a new video game and it is hitting the climax and i probably should be playing that but it's fine <laughs> <laughs> what game is that that's very important Okay, so it is this indie game called Indivisible. I saw a trailer for it earlier this year, and I was like, okay, cute character design, uh, turn-based tactics. I'm, I'm very RPG heavy, like JRPGs are my jam. So I was like, okay, it's been a minute since I've been able to, like, since Persona 5, you know, have my hands and decide what to do and timing and whatnot. Right. Picked it up. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, my gosh. And <laughs> it's just taken over my evenings. Like, who eats anymore? We only get oh, yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, you just put like an IV in with the, the right stuff and then you just keep playing. You just hope for the best, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so first off, I, I love your uh, your cosplay. It is Wonder Woman, correct? Yes, Nubia okay. specifically. <laughs> that is fantastic. It, and and I, I've been... 
see, technically, if I'm doing it now, it's research. If I was going through like way back in your Instagram without having the podcast, that's stalking. So it's different. <laughs> I want to clarify that. But no, I, I, I love going through people's because I, I want to know about the guests and I want to be able to bring up different things. And, and your cosplays are just so fantastic, so beautiful. It, it's mind blowing. So and, and your Wonder Woman, I love the color red, too, because there's certain like you got to get that just that right red. And I'm an artist in, in the color you got to get. You look fantastic. Now, the first question is, do you make all your own? Okay, so I'm a part of this team called the Usual Rangers Five, and we have a motto okay. that we've come up with to, you know, kind of navigate the waters of cosplay. And it goes, make what you can and buy what you can't. For sure. That, oh, yeah. It, it just saves so much time and money and energy and stress because I know for, for a fact, I hope to never have to make gloves. All right. I, I hope I didn't put that in the universe. Ne I hope to never make gloves. And to know that, okay, so if we ever need gloves and a costume, just go ahead and buy that and add on with foam yeah. or fabric and whatnot and build from there. For example, mm -hmm. I can use my Wonder Woman outfit. The corset was bought from Spirit Halloween when you know they were doing their two day 50% off sale. Oh, there you go. The, right? Everything <laughs> else was made though from like scratch because they don't really, I wanted to mix in some elements of Wonder Woman from the movie, but also Nubia from the comics and how they change her outfits. And and to be honest, I might even be adding some new 52 elements in there because Ooh. when they decided to give Wonder Woman like all silver in the pants, I was like, that's nice. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to like it. So the Nubia costume, it was made for DC Fandom, uh, their costume contest. And it was rushed together in a week. But it is undergoing some changes. I hope that answered the question. I kind of went off on a tangent. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Tangents are perfectly fine. They are encouraged around here. So, no, that's awesome. So Good. Um, I got a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So I, I'm curious. We got to go back a little bit. When did you start cosplaying and what got you into it? Ooh, I started cosplaying back in 2000 eight or nine, I want to say. I was yeah. in high school. Oh, okay. And I had a friend, Kalani. She um, was actually the first person to help me make my costume, and she made most of it. I was super, I was a super noob. And I was Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service, and she was Chihiro from Spirited Away. Okay. And it was, it was for AWA in Atlanta. We had a great time. We also went to Dragon Con in those costumes. And, um, oh, my gosh the memories you were sending back into my head. I've been cosplaying <laughs> since then. Okay. And it was in 2012 that I kicked it up full throttle with my team. And since then it's been nonstop. <laughs> awesome. So like it was, you know, basically tip, uh, dipping your toe into it and instantly you were hooked. Yes. That's what I hear a yes. lot with the cosplay world is because uh, I've got quite a few cosplay friends, uh, which is how I got in, roped into HarleyCon. Uh, but yeah, it's, you kind of go and you, you just go once and it's just, I, and I could kind of understand to an extent with doing the artwork and stuff. It, there is a lot going to cons and doing your thing. It's, um, it, it can hook you really quick. Uh, and you're in, uh, you're, so you're based in Atlanta, correct? I'm based in Savannah, Georgia, but I'm from Savannah, Atlanta. Georgia. Okay. Okay, gotcha. And you're by, I mean, Dragon Con's like the one of the be all end all cons to get to. Yes, yes, it is. It's hard to say because there are still some cons I want to go to to see and compare. But Dragon Con has this like soft spot in my heart because it was one of my first when I was in high school. Um, I was happy to bring my team along because a lot of them, it was their first Dragon Con. They'd been to smaller cons. And they've been to the AWAs and the Momo cons, but they've never been to a con that was so all encompassing of what it means to be a nerd. You know, on one right. hand, you could see anime, but on the next, you see comic books, you could see Star Trek, you could see just random movie paraphernalia. It felt like home. Like there was no place you could go in Dragon Con and not feel at home. So it, it has this spot in my heart. And I always oh, suggest awesome. people go to it. Yeah, one of these days I will make it up there. I have not made it up there uh, yet because I'm down in uh, Orlando, Florida. So I've yeah, I've, oh. I've gone to Georgia a couple of times, but I have not made it to Dragon Con. Uh, a few of my friends that are in this group, uh, especially Hanging with Web Show, have made it up there. And uh, speaking of Hanging with Web Show, their son uh, cosplay Michael 
He is a uh, young cosplayer up and he's he's getting big up there in the world, but he absolutely loves your cosplay and says it's awesome. <laughs> All right, you, okay, I'm gonna make a rule right now. You can't compliment me any more past this because I will cry. I have makeup <laughs> on. People who follow me know I'm an easy crier. You can't do that. <laughs> Okay. And we haven't even gotten in, got into all your other cosplays, so you're, you're in trouble. I'm not ready. <laughs> oh man! So, uh, what? So once you got into the first cosplay and you started doing it, what were some of your other early cosplays? Because I've seen a ton, and I've seen a ton of more of your recent stuff. But what was some of the the earlier ones? Oh my gosh! Okay, so the first ever ever was Kiki. And then mm -hmm. I think it was after that that I kind of took a step back, but I jumped in full throttle because I, I have a habit. I can't tiptoe into anything. Yeah. You either do it or you don't with Creed. Right. And we jumped into doing the 1995 movie Power Rangers. Nice. Um, and it was such a perfect group because the way the group was formed, all of us had known each other in different ways, but all of us each had our own Ranger that we were as kids. Like, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. my sister was the pink ranger and I was the yellow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was weird because, of course, at, the, at a, that young age, I was like, but I want a skirt because girls wear pink. And then I actually paid attention to the show and I was like, I'm good. I, I'm, <laughs> please leave me yellow. I'm good. I and bet. when I met my team, you know, we had the brothers who were the black ranger and the white ranger. We had this guy who found us. He was he played basketball with our black ranger and he was the red ranger when he was a kid i mean it just kept piling on so everybody just fell in the place perfectly oh my gosh and then even when we had to like okay so we're going to this con can everyone make it some people were like no i can't we had to find like backups and it ended up being like our white ranger's friend of 10 plus years whose friend whose name is thomas it was wow. it was just all it all came together so perfectly and, and while i'm playing the 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 Thomas I mentioned, he's a Red Ranger. He also mm -hmm. does Taekwondo. So it's like, oh my gosh, could this be any more of a destined <laughs> cosplay for us? And since then, it's just been downhill. Power Rangers, we did their movie mm -hmm. suits, like the morph suits, and we've oh. done Ninjetti, and we did Unmorphed. Um, nice. We're planning so many other Power Ranger cosplays. We've done uh, the DC heroes. We've done mostly Marvel. Storm is my girl. I will do her any day of the week. If I could go to work dressed as Storm, I'd be a pleased girl. All right, your I, I wouldn't are, ask your for much. Your storm more. is very cool. I love. I checked that out. That was fantastic. Thank you, so so much. Because both <laughs> those costumes were made in a rush, and it means so much to me that people are like, "It looks good." Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so I with all your Power Rangers talk, I will have to hook you up with uh, Thomas Rochester. Uh, uh, one of our, he's our basically our thor in our group it's life of thor and he does a variety of different things but him and another gentleman have been doing uh power ranger watch alongs uh during the quarantine and everything so they've been watching along with movies they did the original movie already a couple episodes of different stuff we i they talked me into doing um what was it zeo no turbo a power oh, ranger turbo movie. oh man shift into turbo yes. i have that's the only reason that. why i want to stick shift yeah, I haven't watched that in about 20 years. And because my, my favorite is the original. I was, you know, raised with the, the hardcore original ones and then kind of fell out after that. I remember watching the Turbo one and I was like, eh, it's, and now I watched it <laughs> 20 some years. I'm like, oh, this is terrible. Oh, no, no. Show <laughs> us <respect. I'm> <laughs> It was so bad. There's no fighting for like the first half hour, 45 minutes. It's, oh. But yeah, I got to get you guys connected because you yes. would probably be awesome in the watch alongs. And I think you guys would have a lot in common. I'll bring the whole team. We'll make it a thing. <laughs> there we go. There, Maybe we could do because I, I actually missed out on the original movie watch along. And I've been wanting to do some watch alongs. So maybe we can get us into the mix and, and get something going on uh, later this year because I, I would love to do a watch along with it. And I won't, I won't shit on that one so much because that one was actually you better not. <laughs> you better, I will come through the screen and hurt you. I will. Okay. So no, many people so, give the original so much flack. And I'm like, stop. Okay. It was 95. Well, and they really did. 
a good even job. At least a movie be between the original Power Rangers and then the Turbo one. The original was at least feels like a movie. Even watching yes. it now, it still feels like a movie. Turbo yes. was a very long, overextended episode. episode. And yes. the only, like I told them on the on the thing, I was like, the only good thing about this is I got to see Evil Kimberly, and I did not know <laughs> I needed that in my life. So yeah. yeah, wait. You don't remember the uh? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Evil Kimberly is always great. Like when that, when she was impersonating uh Rita in that one episode, I was oh. like, okay, yes, yeah. yes. This is what everyone needs at least once in their lifetime. Evil Kimberly, like you need it. <laughs> so uh, GW from uh, Hanging with Web Show has welcomed you into the HWWS family <laughs> of creative. So uh, welcome to the chaos. You will have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> but um. So you got into so it, the the group is called the Usual Rangers Five, right? Yes. Or, yes, or that's yes, the yes. Instagram at least. So do you guys? So you guys get together and go to a variety of different things. How does the how does the group work? Who? Um, <laughs> it's it. It's such a weird question because it just does. <laughs> we well, more like we what, pick a what do you guys go and do? Just go to cons? You do like you go to oh, birthday parties? Okay. How did how did it work before? Yes. The craziness we of do. the year. All kinds of stuff, birthday parties, special events. Um, our team has done a lot of cosplay. For the Power Rangers, we mostly do cons and birthday parties. We've mm -hmm. done a few, a few Black Panther parties because our Black Panther cosplay is one of our most, uh, yeah, let's say, too. accredited, accomplished. Like, yeah. it's, oh, I love those costumes. They literally changed our perspective on what cosplay can do for people in general. We were invited, and we do special events, so... We were invited to two different uh, events for the Black Panther premiere back in uh, back in two years ago um, in Atlanta, <laughs> and it was just everyone was so welcoming and so just awestruck because when the movie was first announced, we were on it. We were like, okay, this is a movie with predominantly black people. We are a bl all black cosplay group. If we let this ball drop, we are going to be very upset with ourselves. <laughs> So we started looking for pictures. We started looking for, you know, anything that came out while avoiding spoilers. Okay. That was, Oh man, man, we weren't allowed to read any articles cause we, we don't like spoilers. We don't. Right. Okay. We, we watch the first trailer, even if it's a teaser and we're done. Oh, okay? really? We avoid anything else. We, we don't okay. want to see anything else. So in avoiding other trailers in avoiding, um, articles and just looking for pictures. It was the most frustrating thing in the world, but we, were, we managed to do it somehow, get everyone's costumes together. And it was so funny because we swore up and down that when we watched the movie, we were going to see the backs of some costumes, which we couldn't see. You know, we were going to see some details that we missed and we were just going to be kicking ourselves. But <laughs> we got, I want to say 85% of it down. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> wow, that is fantastic. Um, uh, so you are, uh, the group sounds cool. I saw the Black Panther ones. Those were fantastic costumes. Like just, and, and y even like the hair that you get for your characters is even spectacular. Uh, I'm sure that is a lot of fun to try to find. I'm guessing different wigs and everything, correct? Oh my gosh. I have a bag of wigs. I know <laughs> I should get a whole, uh, a staircase, one of the bookcase and get actual go. like mannequin heads and put them on. I know I should, and I will. You just really but like after you get, afterwards. <laughs> it's so much. My natural hair is a fro, and I just I like my fro because it's easy. I just I just mm -hmm. let it do what it does, and if it doesn't do what I want it to do, I braid it down. You know what I mean? It's simple, straightforward. <clears throat> right. But with cosplay, oh no, oh no. <laughs> when uh, when someone's designing a character, they are having fun, and that is all that matters. <laughs> right. And just to let anybody know that's watching, because I'm sure you have some of your fans that are on here watching, welcome. I appreciate you guys popping in. If anybody has any questions for Cree, Cree, please feel free to comment. I am watching on both things. So if any questions pop up, we will try to get to them. Uh, but until then, I will keep asking questions. So uh, on your Instagram, it said that you are award winning. What awards have you won? I am curious. So weird to talk about this because I feel like I'm bragging, but it actually happened. No, um, I'm asking, so you it's okay. Okay, so <laughs> I've won a few local costume contests um here in Savannah. Um I've also okay, so we had I had an epiphany. It was one of those moments where you saw the future and you were like, yo, that's so Raven. Um 
I remember last year in February, the game Paladins by uh, High Res, they released this new character called Imani. And mm -hmm. I saw her. And my thing is, if she brown, I'm down. Like, that is my cosplay mantra, okay? I cosplay <laughs> these uh, characters of color to, like, bring awareness and let people know we have representation. We don't have to, you know, kind of force it. It's coming, mm -hmm. and we need to, you know, embrace what we have. Mm -hmm. So when I saw Imani, I was like, I'm down. I'm doing it. It's happening. And, of course, at the time, I only saw, like, this much of her. <laughs> Didn't know what I was getting myself into. So once we got <laughs> the game and got to see the character and her hair, that is, I swear to you, as long as I am tall, I was like, whew, this is going to be one of those things now, isn't it? <laughs> that costume I worked on for the majority of the year. And oh, wow. when I say majority of the year, it took about, we started it and stopped it, but it took a solid two months to get it finished, finished. Wow. And yeah, she was... She was heavy duty. Oh, but I love her so much because when we went to DreamHack, of course I was the first person to cosplay the character because she was just released that year. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, they, were, they had two costume contests. You had the high res one and then you had the DreamHack one. I entered in both. And I came in fourth in the high res one, which I'm totally fine with because if you could see what I was up against, okay, these were like, oh my gosh, behemoths of cosplay, mm -hmm. like huge, bouts of armor with lights and it was just to place forth and know that I was next up to them it was it was a complete honor and then you have who the dream hack one I entered in journeyman which is kind of mid-tier because I had won a few costume contests before and that's how they go like hey what have you won before and when I was backstage and they were like okay so we're gonna go through the winners they were in the journeyman category and they went through third, second, and first. I didn't hear my name. I was like, no. Oh no. <laughs> but I had to, you know, you had to get your resolve. You're like, you won fourth literally yesterday. All right. Don't be greedy. <laughs> That's when they announced uh, for the masters, which is, you know, people who've been yeah. doing this for a long time and know what they're doing. Um, they placed me second in masters. Wow. I didn't make it. I, I made it on stage. But if you were to ask me to describe the steps that I took to get on stage, I couldn't because it was like, <laughs> it didn't register. <laughs> Even when they gave me my trophies, I was like, for me, I get to keep this? And they're like, yes. Are you sure? Don't don't take it back now. And they're like, get out of <laughs> my face. Okay. Thank you. I will take this. You know, it was those that 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 weekend was a magical weekend and since then i've entered in a few other costume contests and i have plans to enter more um i have other costumes that i have on the back burner that i want to create and take to other costume contests and oh when i say award winning i mean miraculously award winning <laughs> that's fantastic so we have a uh, a couple of questions popped in amelia oh. asks what's your favorite storm design all right, I think to save us time, no more of these what's your favorite questions. I am terrible at these questions. <laughs> oh, oh my God, and then she's gonna show her face. How dare she? <laughs> Hi, Miss Harley, how are We're you? We're from the same universe this time, yay! I don't know, I still really, really liked um, Storm as, as Harley's parole officer. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that could be an entire sitcom by itself. Like, that'd be hilarious. If you want, a Thor and I are going to be doing something similar to that later today at around 9.30 EST. If you want to pop in on that as whoever you want, <laughs> you are more than welcome. Okay, I'd have to... It depends on if I want to keep my makeup on. <laughs> I mean, I'm in this for 13 hours, and I've got a mask glued to my face, so I'm a little... Oh, oh yeah. yeah, this, this is... This is not coming off. <laughs> well, I mean, for 13 hours, I would hope you're prepared. <laughs> uh, okay, so question was my favorite storm design. Oh, yes. that was great. <sighs> yeah, you have perfect I was time. Going back and <laughs> I was going back and forth because I love her um, new outfit, the one that I just released not long ago. I love that one because it's of its simplicity, but mainly because of the cape. But <laughs> then I honestly have to say that Marvel now it was just so different. The Marvel now with the bringing back the Mohawk 
and then just the the X and the white on the chest and everything else is black and then her shoes and, <laughs> and then that's not even like the end of the list so it's kind of like oh my gosh and then her 90s one with the white the silvery white and then the big hair that would be the cartoon version right yes that, yeah yeah that's the one i know the most um i think you could so pull hard. i always like the one uh i think she's had it a couple times where she has like the big mohawk going through and like more of the black leather outfits those are always been really sharp you can see yeah. mar like listen storm is marvel's barbie doll okay i don't i don't care what other characters they have they literally take their time out to be like okay is storm in this run yes she is oh we get to do it again don't we we get to torture all the storm cosplayers with a new suit because it is my goal <laughs> to do all of her suits and i'm like uh, marvel doesn't care about my wallet i, I yeah. guess it's fine i'll i'll deal with that you know <laughs> take <your> <laughs> Yeah. What was that? Yeah. They, they do care about the wallet. They want what's in it. Yeah, they want what's in it. <laughs> they, Samuel L. Jackson found out what was in it, and then Marvel's going to take all of it. <laughs> Every I time mean, yes. Samuel L. Jackson, my brain just goes, I recognize the council has made a decision, but granted that <laughs> All right. So we got a, this is going to, I know you love the favorite question. So we got another one from you, from Joe Stacy. Pop off of here because I gotta go wrap up a panel. But no great, problem. See you, darling. You are more than welcome down here at any point in time. If you want to come down for a Florida con, just stay with me. We have a yes. guest. Stay with me. Yes. <laughs> it's happening. You, broke her. you can't break it's the the podcast. <laughs> we still have things to talk about. Okay. <laughs> we do. We do. I'm focused. Bye. I love you. Bye. Love you. <laughs> And she's gone. And she's she's gone. such a Harley. She's such yeah. a Harley. <laughs> oh, man. All right. You ready for another question? Yes. Deep breath. Deep breath. <laughs> so this has got to be a hard one. So we can go with like top three if you need to. Favorite okay, cosplay good. to date. <laughs> good luck. I Okay, I think I have a top three. I do not have a number one because every time I get into one of these costumes, it changes. Yeah. Number, I'll start with the first one because of sentimental reasons. Uh, okay. Cosplaying Princess Tiana was something I never thought I'd be able to do. Oh, yeah, that was um, a really good one. That one is, oh my gosh. I got the costume because I do princess parties as Princess Tiana. Okay. And... I didn't think they would pick me because I know that Disney has really strict regulations on what, you know, height, size, you know, they're really particular. And right. I'm 5'11", so I could never be Princess Tiana at a Disney park. Like when they released the movie, I was like, okay, I know it. I'm applying to Disney. That's it. I finally have my black princess. I'm applying. Right. The height kind of was like, <laughs> nah, man. So... Uh. When the woman who runs the, the 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 company was like, "We'd love to have you," I cried because it was like, "Oh my gosh, I get to I get to be Tiana," you know. Not to mention, whenever I'm in Tiana, I never get to go straight home after a party ever. Okay, I go to a princess party. There's always somebody I gotta pick up. There's always something I gotta do. So I'm always in public as Princess Tiana, and it's fun for me because little kids are like, "Oh, mom, I don't want to go in the grocery store." <gasps> Mom, I want to go into the grocery store. Tiana just walked into the grocery store, you know, hoop skirt and all. And it just makes their, their they just get so happy. Um, That's fantastic. It's just, it's, it warms the soul to know that I can do that for kids, you know, because if I saw Princess Tiana in the grocery store, I'd have a conniption. I'd be done. That There would be no free right now, okay? Because the heart attack would have just taken me out. Um, costume now, number two. Uh, I, hmm? If you don't mind, I interrupt real quick. Do you mind if I, because I can screen share on here. Is it okay if I share your Instagram page on here so we can show some oh, of these? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, please. Okay. You so you keep talking and I'll get that connected. <laughs> uh, number two would have to be Okoye. Um, I made her after the Black Panther premiere for um, the Infinity War um, premiere. Oh, my gosh. And it was second to um, Imani actually wasn't as difficult as I make her seem. Um, the basics mm -hmm. were good, but Okoye was a lot of uh, stitch work and patterning, and it was just a whole learning curve. She was my first hardest cosplay to make, 
And when I finally got her done right, once again, it was just this explosion of just pride because it was it was a, re a reaffirmation in myself that I could do this. You know, Okoye is just fun, especially since I get to use her accent when I'm in public. Like the usual Rangers, we make a, a big thing of bringing these characters to life. So we all learned how to use Afri how to speak in African accents. And oh, oh my wow. gosh, the days and nights practicing. So if you ever see me in a Koye, I will never speak in my regular accent. Like that, that's forbidden. Plus, once you get the bald cap on, okay. it's kind of like your brain rewires and you, you just do it. It's, it's actually funny because right. even when I take the bald cap off, I have to remind myself that I am no longer cosplaying and I have to stop the accent. It's just, she's <laughs> so much fun. You gotta and turn I it off. love the character. You gotta turn it, it's hard. It's hard, it's difficult. Um, and then my third, <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone guessed this. It has to be Storm. Um, it, I, I, there are a lot that I do love, a lot of costumes that I do love, but those three are just women that I look up to, women that I would love to be and embody. Um, and they're all just firsts in their own right. And being able to bring to life these Black female character firsts is just, it's an honor. You know, I genuinely take it as an honor. Oh, yeah. oh my God, that's my face. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't be weirded out. You asked and I knew, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's just. Yeah, I mean, I all your costumes. So I have to say, I, I've gone through a bunch of them. And the one that caught my eye, there's two that caught my eye, but I love, and I'm going to try to find it, but your uh, Lana from Archer is fantastic. <gasps> Yes, I am a huge yes, Archer fan. Lana. I actually just did in the middle of rewatch. I mean, look at all this stuff. But your your Lana, there she is. Your Lana is fantastic. You even got the expression oh. for it perfectly. It, it's so great. And if you want to follow Cree on social media, you can see her name right there. It's Brown Dot Sugar Dot Outlaw on Instagram, and you can follow her. Check out all of her amazing uh, cosplays. So please uh, go check her out. But I mean, look at all this. You're just, when do you sleep? That's my next question. Do you just. I know. <laughs> I never sleep. It's not yeah. a thing. Sleeping doesn't exist. I've even gotten worse. I now go to bed at like 11, but I wake up immediately at five without even trying. And it's the most frustrating thing. <laughs> But it's 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 just what happens. And when I get inspiration for a costume, it just it just has to come out. It has to be done. I can't I can't, I can't hold back. <laughs> yeah, I know how that is. Just... I get I get paintings or uh, graphic design ideas like right when I'm about to go to sleep and I got to just go and do something with it real quick or at least put a note in my phone to try to jog back the memory later. So I exactly. know exactly. Otherwise, it'll be painter. lost in your sleep. Oh, there you go. There she is. I'm digging the sunglasses with it too. <laughs> yes, right. I was, I, I was like, you know what? This work, this works. This works. I insane. enjoy this very much. It's insane how much your personality changes when you have that. I like, because I, I just by looking at the picture, you can see that you hit a different mindset once you get that outfit on. It's fantastic. And yes, you're one of those I... people that you really get into the characters. There's, there's been some cosplay friends, even Amelia. Um, there was a time I didn't see her out of cosplay. I would only see her at cons and really didn't know what she looked like out of cosplay. So we were at a, just like a regular function, like a bunch of people getting together and my wife and I are leaning up against each other. They're like, is that her? I don't know. <laughs> Cause some of the, some of you guys' cosplays are so detailed and you get so much into the, everything that you don't know what the regular person looks like. Yes. I have had that happen several times. Um, at Dragon Con, I had my buddy, Jeffrey Hall. He's an amazing photographer. He, um, I walked up to him to ask a question about a shoot. Like, okay, oh, hey, where do we stand for the shoot? He was like, oh yeah, you stand over there. And then the next day, oh, I was dressed as Storm. That's right, I was dressed as Storm. And mm -hmm. I asked him about it. He was like, yeah, no problem. Like, okay, cool. So I go on about my day. Then the next day, we're at the Power, we're at the Power Rangers. And he looks at me, he's like, Cree, that was you? I was like, <laughs> Yes, we've met several times. He's like, no, <laughs> no, because when you walked away, I was like, that thing looked good. I was like, Jeffrey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeffrey, <man>. why? <laughs> okay, this is just a personal favorite because I love this show, 
and you look fantastic. That Thank is you. awesome. If any B- reboot fans are in here, uh, you you got to get a kick out of this because reboot <laughs> was ahead of its time. I just found out. I think it's on Hulu, if I remember correctly. Somebody you said like, I I'm pretty sure the entire series is on Hulu. I have to look into it. Hulu? No, wait. Hulu or Amazon Prime because there's so many. It's one of those two. So I gotta I gotta hunt it down. But I'm pretty sure the entire uh, series is on one of those streaming platforms. What? Oh if God. I find out, I'll let you know, because I got to start. Reboot stopping. was, is, is to be honest, I love villains. I don't cosplay a lot of villains, but I love villains, okay? And my goal is to play, to cosplay a hexadecimal. One day, it's happening, all right? Oh, Maybe for my 30th birthday, I might do hexadecimal. Oh, man. Like, there's just, you guys got to go to her, uh, her Instagram and just heart all the pictures, all the awesomeness. We could, I could spend all day going through your, uh, <laughs> your stuff. Um, but yeah, so, and, and you've done, I mean, you've done Bowsette. You did, there was, I didn't see it in there when we were going through, but you even did uh, Queen B from Young Justice and you nailed it perfectly. Um, do you get full character for that one? Cause that's, again, it's got, it, it would seem hard to me because you're so happy and smiling and everything. And Queen <laughs> B is not that. <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah, not at all happening. we have a plan the usual rangers to do the light like actually cosplay the group oh. um and i can't we wait haven't ha- right? right calm down so um we're Deep working breath. on it <laughs> right i haven't been able to wear her outside the house yet because she was oh, a part okay. of a series that i did three years ago uh every black history month i put together a list of black female characters and I cosplay them. The first mm-hmm. year I did it, I did 28 costumes in 28 days. And she was one of them. And I was oh, wow. so excited to do her. She is just so unnecessarily fabulous. Honestly, to me, she's just unnecessarily fabulous and just, just <laughs> manipulative. And she's just so evil. And I just, oh yeah, man, her. <laughs> that's a Dragon Con plan for sure. Like we're taking oh, them to Dragon awesome. Con. Oh man, I cannot wait to see that. Um, So this is a, this is actually a question I get a lot too, with the amount of artwork I I bring. And it's actually from your Instagram post that you were so kind to put up for, for questions and everything. Uh, Jojo, the flow, (laughs) Joe, that's almost sounds like Mojo Jojo. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, He asks, how do you travel? Because you have so much cosplay stuff and (laughs) I'm figuring most of the time you, you drive to the conventions, correct? Yes, Jolia, Jojo the Flow Joe is actually my friend Jolia from middle school. I've known oh, wow. her for years. And like, ah! okay, so we drive most of the time. We literally, I can't even say most of the time. We have literally never flown somewhere. Um, even when we went to San Diego, we drove because we were, we were worried about our costumes, you know? Oh, yeah. Plus, you know, putting everything on a plane is just as expensive as putting your butt in the seat. So mm-hmm. you kind of have to pick your battles there. Uh, with with getting to these cons, it's mostly driving that way. When we get there, we have a, a method of transportation around the city. Um, we know how our cosplay is packed, and we can make sure that we have everything. You know, it's a lot less, there's a lot more control when you're driving to these cons. And even though it's not fun, because the first two hours, you can deal with it. But somehow in that third to fifth hour, those hours of the trip, you start turning against your friends. You start like <laughs> backstabbing and attacking, and you just need to keep taking bathroom breaks because it's like I need my legs to move. You know, it, oh, it's yeah. not the most fun thing. But once you finally hit the state you're going to, and you're like, okay, well, and your car is probably packed with, with because you're taking a bunch of. It's not just your cosplays; it's everybody else's cosplays. So I'm sure it's packed to the gills. Oh yes, oh yes. We try to get everybody to pack as light as possible for themselves. But it doesn't always work. <laughs> um, so most of the time we get like a trailer or something to have extra space. Okay. But it's yeah. still like, oof, yeah. So I uh, my wife has complained many a times to me because for those that don't know, I am an artist going to I, I go to conventions and everything, and I paint everything on canvas because I'm a genius and I take a bunch of canvases with me. Um, there has been a few times where people uh, I, I've always made the jokes that I've uh, given my car stretch marks for as packed as I have packed it. Um, a couple of times my wife has wondered where she's going to sit and I tell her the hood. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's been times where she, like, cause 
I get all of the, the, the con stuff, the art stuff in, and then I kind of forget about our personal bags or the bathroom bag. And she's like, well, where's this going to fit? I'm like, that'll be up front with you. She goes, what? I'm like, you want to take it. It's got to be up front with you. I'm like, there's at least a seat. You can't move your feet or legs, but you can sit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like you might as well start meditating so that you can hit that higher self. So it doesn't bother you as much. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I will say if you ever want to be a, any kind of convention, like comic con convention goer as a, either an artist, a seller, a vendor or a cosplayer, uh, practice Tetris. <laughs> it will save your life. Um, I believe Tetris, uh, built me up to do all my adult life things. And, uh, I have packed so much in a car. I have packed an entire booth like edge to edge so, and, and my wife still does not know how i did it to this day we couldn't see out the back window it was only rear view mirrors no <laughs> that rear view yeah. doesn't exist that's not a mirror anymore it is just you know so you're uh you we're, we got a little bit of time left we got about 18 minutes left uh again if anybody has questions feel free to ask we we, we will fit them in as best we can um but you're also an actress. Is that correct? Yes. So what kind of acting, like, what have you gotten into? Like, how's that going? Other I've been acting her. for, <laughs> I've been acting for several years now. And there was a stint about two years ago where I was heavy in the industry. Um, mm. I had my first speaking role in this movie called Killer Men with Liam Hemsworth. And it was actually oh, wow. working with Liam Hemsworth. Like I, I actually got to touch his forehead because I was a nurse that was checking on him and everything. And it was a it was a great opportunity. But I realized that in order to continue forward with mm -hmm. my acting career, I needed to build like a niche of some sort. Because just like with cosplay, just like with art, just like with everything, there's a lot of people competing for your spot. So you have to find right. a way to make yourself stand out that way. They're like, OK, so, yeah, we want her, but we also want her. What's the main difference? What can we really attach ourselves to? So I mm -hmm. started working towards building myself as a personality, building myself as a cosplayer, because not a lot of actors actually cosplay. Also, not right. a lot of act cosplayers are actors. So I was like, okay, okay. cross the two. <laughs> cross the and, streams. Wait, I thought we were. Right. <laughs> case-by-case case basis. <laughs> um, so I started integrating cosplay and, and my acting together. So now I'm doing like cosplay music videos. Uh, whenever I go out as a character, I make sure to embody that character. Just little things that I can do to put myself ahead of the game. Because mm -hmm. while I could just like nose the grindstone, continue pushing and pushing and pushing, it's mm -hmm. always better to mm -hmm. make sure that you know who you are autonomously and be able to push that forward just as well as your talent. Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, I was going to say something, and then I just totally blanked. <laughs> uh, and I'm only on my second of four segments, so this is going to be great for the rest of the day. Ooh. Where was I going to go? Oh, yeah. Go somewhere. We're going <laughs> to talk about something. It was around somewhere. Um, oh, that's where I was going to go. Now I remember. I got it. I found it. Uh, so I, I'm figuring you were a fan of, uh, um, it was G4, the, the old show that was around, they're bringing it back, Attack of the Show and things, and things of that nature. I think you would fit perfectly for stuff like that. Is that in your radar to, because you do the cosplay, your personality is fantastic. Like, I, I think you're built for it. So no, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> I okay, so I wasn't as okay, so I was on the X play train. All right, I yes. loved X play. Yes, that was my show. I religiously watched X play, even reruns. I was like, I'm watching it. Everybody, shut up, you know. <laughs> uh, but I did watch Attack of the Show, even though you know I was Team X play. Uh, okay. I would okay. love, okay, love to host a show like that. I would lose my mind if they were like, hey, we're doing a show based on anime and cosplay and video games. Would you like to be a host? Um, does a does a fish need water? <laughs> Come on now. Well, there we go. We're, we're at uh, HarleyCon 2020. We're officially putting your hat into, w let's make it happen. All the hashtags. We want her in there. <laughs> all the hash <laughs> hashtag all the hashtags. 
Hashtag all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like what um yeah, I know right now you probably haven't been doing much because the uh, the world's going to hell. Um, but hopefully eventually we can get back to something of normalcy. Are you working on any cosplays at the moment or wh what's on deck for you? I have just been recently sponsored by Arda Wigs to create a cosplay. Oh, wow. I am working on it now. I am so excited. I was freaking, I, it, KatsuCon was a miracle con because I went there with Imani and I ran into one of the women who, who runs and operates Arda Wigs and she was checking out my wig and I was like, okay, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it goes all the way to the floor from the literal top of my head to the floor. So it's like, okay, yeah, of course she's going to check it out. But she was like, yeah, uh, what's your Instagram? And I'll, I'll message you. I was like, okay, cool. My name's Chris. She was like, yeah, my name's this. And we, we shook hands. And she was like, yeah, I work for Art of Wigs. I was like, oh. <laughs> it's, it's like, imagine, I mean, you, you can't, uh, uh, words can't do. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. it, it was so amazing. And then we finally uh, orchestrated a good time to work on everything. And they were like, hey, we're going to send you the materials. Just get crack a lacking. And I was like, oh, you bet. <laughs> um, I, 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 sh I don't want to say it yet. Cause it's kind of a surprise. Top secret. And it's I got you. I got you. <laughs> but just know that it's, it's one that I've been eyeballing. Okay. I've been looking at this woman since the game came out and I was like, it's happening. You know, oh, that's awesome. Freaking hype. <laughs> um, so do you have like, I, I know uh, mostly for Central Florida, I think almost everything's been canceled here. Do you have any events coming up that you can plug or are we just waiting for 2021 for you? <laughs> I'll say this much. Yes, cons have canceled, but personally, I'm waiting for 2021. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know I may not actually become sick from the coronavirus, but I don't want to be a carrier and pass oh, it sure. on. For sure. I really want to be as safe as possible because, I mean, mm -hmm. this has already taken so many lives. It's already devastated so many people that I'm I'm on the I'm in the safe camp. OK, now, granted, I'm in Georgia and we acting like the thing didn't even exist. Like it doesn't matter in Georgia. Like we do what we want. But still, you know, I <laughs> still want to be as me. safe as possible. That's yeah. 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 Like Florida. I've been I've been sitting at home. I've been getting food out and I go to work and I come home and that's it. You know, we have not, you know ordering groceries in and uh my my mom is losing her damn mind because i my wife and i are okay we're not very social people so we're like yeah and, and it's even gotten to a little point it's like okay i'd like to see a couple of people not that many but you know but my mom is her eyes twitching she's like a social butterfly and i'm like oh no <laughs> yeah i'm like i'm glad oh. i didn't get that part from you but uh <laughs> It's like all yeah. my life has been training for this moment. Exactly. That's what I kept saying at the beginning. And now, you know, it's bad when the guy that can't stand being around people is like, I could go out somewhere. I could go. Yeah. I, I like yeah, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's sad, like, I, and I'm sure you've been to plenty of cons and, and sometimes it's a bad smell. Sometimes a good smell. But I even miss the smell of conventions, like especially when it's before everybody's gotten in there, like the end of the weekend, you don't want that smell. No, the no, first, no. Like the fresh first day of cons, and somehow in every state, I've been into four or five different states for cons. They all smell the same, but it's that con yeah. You could put it in a candle, and people would be like, "Yeah, that's and be like con smell." Yes. Yep. Yeah, yes. I get that smell. I, it's it's it's. A, I describe it as a mixture of merchandise, sweat. Yep. And just. A third unnamed thing. Like, I, I will not name that third thing because that's what makes it so unique to come. Right. You know what I mean? And it's you got the sweat from no. the people. No, it's not. Yeah. It's By not. It is so can, nostalgic. Like, I'm smelling it now. Yeah. Yeah. You can't describe it. You, it's only people that have been to cons and especially like, and, and it's people that have been into cons before anybody else gets in there and you just have the vendors and stuff. It's just, you like, you walk in and it's like, okay, here we go. Like my body, I smell it. And my body's like, all right, we're in con mode. Here yeah. we go. <laughs> it's, it's on. You know what I mean? Your cells even change a little bit. They're like, all right, yeah. con mode. Let's do this. Yeah. You're going to be standing on concrete for eight hours trying to sell everything. Your voice will be gone after day two. And uh, you probably won't pee often. <laughs> no. Thank you. Okay. I thought, okay. Our team thought we were crazy because when we get in cosplay, everything shuts down. I don't know what that is. We just, we just don't, we don't until we take the costumes off. Then it's like, move, move, yeah. you know, throwing bows and stuff. But 
literally when you're in a con, I don't. It's no, it's con or nothing. <laughs> I think with uh, I think with cosplayers, you definitely have a different switch in your head that turns on. You know, I, I still I can only hold it so long, but you kind of get used to it as a as a vendor and everything. And you know, when you're not at the table, you're not selling. Uh, yes. But I think I think a lot of Florida cosplayers just sweat the pee out. So <laughs> I think that's how it works down it's here. It's got to come out somewhere, and that's where it's going. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, uh, it's been fantastic chatting with you, and and we got about nine minutes or so left. Um, so I actually have these cards. I don't know if you've seen them before, but they're called Pod Decks. Uh, it's a cool little company, and they I have the What the Heck deck, and it's like random questions to ask your uh, ask your guests, and they're kind of fun. They lead into weird conversations sometimes. You down for ask, answering a couple? Sure, why not? All uh, right, uh, let's see. We've got. Well, this is interesting. If you could sing a duet with anyone, who would it be? Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. That is yes. not who I thought you were going to say. <laughs> I I am in love with that man. He is hilarious. Yes, he's had some misses, but Ricky Bobby and, and, and the politician, and I love him. Okay. <laughs> and if I can, if I could sing karaoke with that man, I'd be good. <laughs> I like you could have you could have paid me a hundred dollars to guess somebody and I would he wouldn't have been in the top twenty. That is funny <laughs> as hell. I was thinking like actual singers and stuff, you know, like Oh, I guess. Yeah, but I was going more than that, but no. No, that's they that's, don't have that's the personality, man. <laughs> All right, here's the next one. This is gonna be interesting because we 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 are in the Comic Con life. Uh <clears throat> what's the grossest thing you've ever seen someone do? in public <laughs> it may not be at a con i mean who knows let's see um who i'm now having ideas in my mind competing for grossest uh-oh um we got time you can do both if you want so i believe everyone can dress and be how they like mm -hmm. go on have at it. It's not my body. If I don't like it, I'm just going to go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But in this mm -hmm. particular situation, I was trapped. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Dragon Con has a dress code, but there's so many people that you can't police everyone. Right. It is impossible. There was this mature woman, and everyone knows what I mean by mature, because that's a nice way to say it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who decided that Poison Ivy's outfit was going to be a leaf thong and two fake leaves on her nipples. Whew. And we were in the <laughs> sky the, the sky bridge. So when we were walking, I was talking to my friend. I look over. I'm like, it's there. <laughs> it's there. I can't even see it. Am I, am I good? Am I blind? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. And it's like, listen, more power to her. Awesome. Yay. Great. But man. Yeah. <laughs> and that's one of several revealing cosplays I've seen where it's like, I mean, you're bold. You're bolder than me, but I yeah, don't think I needed that. <laughs> I've seen plenty of stuff like that. I've seen um, some well endowed women that their stuff was twice the size of my head and oh. ver wearing very tiny little outfits and i'm like okay and it's like there's your eyes don't even listen to you because like they'll come in <laughs> eyes, and your head's like and you're like no stop. <laughs> stop stop you have to hit yourself to stop because otherwise you will not stop and what? it's like oh my gosh when I even apologize to my wife, I'm like, I am it's sorry. Fine. Goes, no, I'm doing the same thing. I'm like, okay, cool. We're at least done the same. Good. Good. Because it's like, oh, my gosh. And then you always have to find that friend. Did you see that? You didn't see that? Come on. Somebody else have, has to have this in their mind. I can't be the only Somebody one. That's had, so me. Had to see this. <laughs> All right. Uh, here, here's another good one for you with the, the uh, Comic-Con life. Uh, what is the longest... What is... Blah, 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 blah. What's the longest you've ever waited in line for something, and what was it? I'm going to go ahead and say Disney World. Oh. It Just to get in on a normal day? or 
Oh yeah. Oh, oh damn. yeah. We used to go all the time when I was a kid and it was a, a year before we actually learned about the hopper pass and how you can like skip stuff. You're right. I lied. I just lied to you. It wasn't Disney World. It was Six Flags. Six Flags? It was Six Flags. <laughs> That's not even worth waiting in line that long. <laughs> it wasn't. It was awful. <laughs> we waited for so long. It was so hot. And I think it was a haunted mansion ride or something. I can't even remember the ride. But when we got to the ride, the woman putting us in the seats wasn't even excited. Oh, Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I kid you not. She literally did that. She was like, all right, are you guys ready? All of us. It was like there was this synchronization of family sarcasm. And we were all like, yeah, I guess. It was in unison. I was like, oh, my gosh. Yes, that was the longest. It was for some ride Six at Six Flags. Flags. Where? It was Six Flags where? Yeah, which one? It was the one in Georgia. Okay, the one in Georgia. Which I believe is the there worst was... one. Uh, there was one in Ohio for a while, which is where I'm originally from. And basically, they bought over um, <laughs> what used to be a SeaWorld, I think it was. I'm trying to remember. And... Uh, I, I think I went to it once. It I think it may have lasted a year if they were lucky. And then oh. it got bought out and like it got bought out by somebody else who tried to bring it up again. And I think they left all the coasters there. So they just it was the same exact coaster like Batman or whatever. But they had to rename it some like generic piece of crap thing <laughs> because they didn't have the rights to it. Oh, my God. Uh, Flying rodent human. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd ride that ride. That would be fun. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not a roller coaster person, but that it's worth a shot. Yeah. Neither am I, but a flying rodent person. I, like I mean, that. it sounds fun. That's my next shirt. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. So we're going to do one more question and then we'll do all the plugs and everything because we got about two minutes left. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones to ask. Describe your sense of humor in one word. <laughs> So I like to tell, while, while people think, uh, I always like to tell um, my wife's uh, one word for my sense of humor is asshole. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, you haven't known me long enough. When we hang out, you'll, you'll get it really quick. Uh, so, yeah, that, that is um, that That's is a good mine. one. And then uh, use... my. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think animated. Okay. I definitely could see that. Yeah. Because oh, they're, sure. ooh. Oh, stop. There was a stint when I was, why are you bringing up all these memories? How dare you? Um, <laughs> That's what when I'm here I was for. younger, huh? That's what I'm here for. <laughs> when I was a kid, I wanted to join the circus, and part of me actually did want to be a clown. All right. I could see it. Yeah. Have you done, um, so speaking of clowns, have you done a Harley Quinn uh, cosplay yet? I'm actually planning to do one because there's this group that she got together. And the black girl has like white hair slash black hair and her color scheme is black and white. I'm like, that. Oh. I can do that. Oh, yeah. I can do that. Yeah, that, that would be fun. Awesome. I'm going to do it. Right? Like, so that, that's totally in the works in the future. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fantastic. You'll have to go on my, uh, my social media. I just, my wife has a, uh, we both have Kia Souls. So I, um, I have a yellow one and she has a red one. And I put vinyl on both cars. I turned my car into a Batmobile. So it has a giant splatter Batman logo across it with all this other Batman stuff all around and inside. Uh, I did that last year. And then my wife just got a red one. And I turned it into a Harley Quinn mobile. That's cute. Hers is a little more subtle. But, uh, but she has like a strip going down each side that says Harley with hearts. And I put like different things of Harley like the bat, the mask, the mallet. It's really cool. Hers is m way more toned down than mine is. Um, but yeah, I think you would definitely dig it. That's but cute. Are, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when we can go back to cons again with, with our big group and everything. We want to display the cars at like MegaCon and stuff. That's our goal. Um, so now we have two. So it'll be really interesting. But hopefully someday soon we can make it happen. But we are at that time at the end of the episode. Please plug all your stuff. Let people know where they can find you on all the good stuff and, and support you. Um, at brown.sugar.outlaw. You can find mm -hmm. me on Facebook and Instagram at those. On Facebook, it'll, book, it'll come up as Cream Michelle Rogers, but at brown.sugar.outlaw, uh, Facebook and Instagram. Twitter's difficult. 
And I don't like it. <laughs> but it is brown underscore sugar underscore out. I think. Oh, you didn't even get the law in there. What the hell? No, no, I didn't. Like, Twitter's yeah. Twitter's rough. I just have it because people tell me to have it, but I, I don't like Twitter. Yes, I was <laughs> avoiding Twitter, Twitter like the plague it was. I'm also yep. on TikTok, but I'm not going to. No, don't worry about TikTok. Don't. Mm, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Thank you so much for being on. Uh, hopefully you can join Amelia and Thomas uh, later tonight for their, uh, their, their fun shenanigans as cosplay. Uh, there'll be Harley and Thor, I believe. Uh, if you enjoyed this interview, you enjoyed watching what I do here, you can follow me on anywhere at J Bauer Art, all one word, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all the good stuff. If you want to catch a uh, the rewatch of this, head over to HWWS Web TV YouTube channel. Uh, this will be this one will be up in a couple of weeks. It's going to be my fill in for an off week. I'm going to take the first week in September off because I have been doing way too much this month uh, and need a little bit of a breather. But yeah, this will be up in a couple of weeks. Um, you'll see our beautiful faces, so you'll be able to find it. And I'm sure uh, Cree will be sharing it everywhere once it's out. And uh, if you like any of the artwork, if you're watching this and you've never seen my artwork before, all the art behind me is mine. I sell it. Go to jbauerartshop.com. Uh, and if there's paintings. There's also links. Um, there's uh, special uh, promo codes. If you want to buy prints, they're just $5 each. You can buy three and get the fourth free by using promo code HarleyCon. And then if you want one of the paintings, you can buy one of those. Uh, any painting, $100 or more, use promo code HC2020, and you'll get $50 off that painting. So I think that's all the plugs. Make sure to tune into everything else. There's all kinds of stuff going on HarleyCon all day long until about midnight. I will be back with the... Uh, Back talk with friends, uh, the podcast super show with a variety of different people. Who knows who's going to pop in? Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And we kick off the debauchery. I think we'll be the most debauchery filled part of the evening, the adult portion. So hopefully you guys pop into that. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.